Welcome back everyone and today I am showing off some pins that I got from a recent Kickstarter that ended and completed. I'm so excited for this. It arrived the day after Christmas. A couple things actually arrived and so I'm going to film all of that today. I will be filming this with my other camera which I know a lot of people don't like me filming on because of the audio quality and I apologize but my DSLR, the one that I usually use to film, t took a tumble recently and the autofocus is just terrible on the new lenses that I'm using so I pr much prefer simpler zooming in so I can show you all the proper quality of the stuff that I got. So this package is from a Kickstarter that I supported. Um, it is by Shark Teeth. It's a set of enamel pins that feature sharks and I just wanted to show off how they decorated the package. It is so cute. I love this little shark stamp and then it has their name on the bottom. I have not opened it so this will be a delightful surprise. So the first thing to come out is this adorable card. We love ya home, homie. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. And then got some tissue paper. For those of you unfamiliar, here is their card. Their art is really cool and here is all of their information. The Kickstarter was called Shark Teeth and it was a Kickstarter to support the release of various designs of sharks with varying themes. Your tears make the ocean a deeper place. That is so funny. So thank you. That's a nice little card. They gave me oh, a little piece of candy. Ooh, it's the sour kind, I think. That'll be nice to try. And here are all the ones that I ordered in little tea bags. Is that what these are? That's cute. Little satchels. They look like tea bags. I don't really drink tea, so I'm not 100% sure. But that's really neat packaging, and it really fits the nautical theme of all of this. So I went crazy, and I supported for five of them although I was this close to oh my gosh I love it to doing six because I, I love sharks you guys I, I love sharks so much and the theme of this kind of like scary gory cute kind of thing was right up my alley alley and I had to restrain myself okay so here is the kickstarter page those are all the designs uh, or some of the designs available there were variations for each one because the Kickstarter did really well, so she started doing recolors with different effects on them. Um, some were glow in the dark, I believe. So we have a Reaper, the Ghost, the Mummy, the Vampire, and then because we reached a ton of stretch goals, the recolors all got completed. She started making more designs. The first one was Chummy Ito, which is what this little guy is. And I got the zombie variation. He was supposed to be glow in the dark, but I think manufacturing made a mistake and he does not glow in the dark from what um, she released a statement of. Like she did updates every now and again. We did not reach this stretch goal, which I was really disappointed about because it seemed really interesting and cute, um, but that's okay. So here is Chummy Ito Shark Frights. It's so cool. Comes with two backing and it has all of their social media on the back. I love the colors of this. I was a little afraid the colors would be off because I saw a social media post and it did seem a little off, but he is perfect. I love him. So cool. Here is the mummy, but I got the stretch goal variation. Pumpkin Spice is the name of this variation. And this one is also supposed to be glow in the dark. Let me see if that's true. So the bandages actually glow in the dark, which is so, so cool. Love that. Next, I think, is another glow in the dark one. The little ghost guy. Sorry, breaking the little bags. They're cute. Ah! <laughs> it's like getting fish out of a fishnet. So here is the little shark ghost. It's so cute. I love the sheet the implied sheet from the speed effect. And let me see if this one is glow in the dark. Oh yeah, that's cool. That is so cool. So unlike the mummy one, the mummy one had glow in the dark effects on the bandages, so they're very thick. This one has them on the green areas. So this is the vampire, that's just the standard name. Really cute. The colors work really well. Like this artist did such a good job designing these and they look perfect as enamel pins. I recently got some other ones and I think those designs could have been improved upon but these are perfect. And then the last one 
can't wait to hang these up in my Eta bag. I may have to rearrange some things, swap stuff out. Here is the Reaper. Super cute. I love the implication of bone with the tail. And all of these regular ones, I think the ghost and the vampire were normal variations. They have different versions where some of them have glitter. I know the ghost has like a pink variation that had glitter that was part of the stretch goal. Um, I think this one had a pink variation as well, but I liked the original and I think it looks so cool. So those are all of them. I absolutely love every single one of these and the artist seems very willing to do more. I suggested on the Kickstarter comment page that maybe they could try doing more sea creatures, but um, like the deep sea ones, I would love to see what they can do with an angler fish. That's my favorite fish. And if they make an enamel pin of it, I would 100% support them. I wanted to try and see if I could show y'all what the glow in the dark effect looks like. You can kind of see it there. Um, let's try the ghost guy. Ooh, this one's very obvious, but you can see the green is very glowy. Because the Kickstarter was so successful, I believe they are going to have some of these pins available in their online shop. I will try to link that in the description for y'all. Um, and if not, I'll just link y'all to the artist's page. Um, I think they should have a page somewhere or a website of some sort. So uh, I'm really happy with this Kickstarter. I'm so happy that it didn't really take that long once the Kickstarter was, o Kickstarter was over. Um, a lot of times Kickstarters take a while for the product to be made, but this didn't take very long at all. I'm so happy with the designs and the end product. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.